Algebra 2, we have a word problem that we're going to solve as a quadratic equation. This is 8.2a. If you haven't seen the two previous videos for Chapter 8, you can click on this description if you become lost or confused, okay? Because watching those might clear up your confusion. For some word problems, quadratic equations will serve as a mathematical model. We can use the strategies of write an equation and draw a diagram together along with other strategies if we need to, as we would with a linear model. And we can name or label unknown quantities and specify the units of measurement. We need to make sure to understand the problem, develop and carry out a plan. When we find the answer, we need to check to see if the answer makes sense. So we have a swimming pool that's going to be built. A rectangular lawn is 60 meters by 80 meters, and the center of the lawn is torn up to install a swimming pool. It's going to leave a strip of lawn of uniform width around the pool. So the area of the pool is one-sixth of the lawn area. How wide is the strip of lawn? So drawing a diagram is going to help us visualize what we're trying to do here. It's 60 by 80, and we need to figure out how wide this lawn strip is around this pool. Okay? So we think... We need to find the width of the strip of lawn, and the lawn is 60 meters by 80 meters. The pool is one-sixth of the total area. It told us that, okay? And we need to find this width of lawn. So this is going to be x. So all the way around, that's x. So on this side, we have x, and on this side of the pool, we have x, don't we? So that's 2x. And on the 80 meter side, we've got this is x and this is x. So that lawn strip equals x, so we're going to subtract 2x from each side. So this is going to be 60 meters minus x and x, that's 2x. This is going to be 80 meters minus this x and this x. So we've got 80 minus 2x. So the total area of the pool is 60 minus 2x times 80 minus 2x, because 60 times 80 would give us the entire area. So we're going to do it minus the 2x for each value and multiply it. So the pool area is 1 sixth of the total area. So we've got 60 minus 2x times 80 minus 2x equals 1 sixth of this 80 times 60. All right, so that's all going to be multiplied together. We can FOIL this. We get 4,800 minus 120x minus 160x plus 4x squared. And that's going to equal, this is 4,800 divided by 6, isn't it? When we simplify this, we get 4,800 minus 280x plus 4x squared, because we put these two together to get the 280x, the negative 280x, and that's going to be an 800. Now, Using the principle of zero products, we can add a negative 800 to each side of the equation to set this to equal zero, can't we? So this 4,800 is going to become just 4,000. But it's not written in the standard form of a quadratic equation, is it? We need to rearrange this, all right? So let's go up here. We want it to be written in standard form, like ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So this guy needs to come in front and then the x, and then the 4,000, right? So now we've got 4x squared minus 280x plus 4,000 equals 0. We need to set this first term to a 1. So we're going to divide each of these by this 4 coefficient. This is going to become a 1 because numerator and denominator are the same, so we have just x squared. This is going to become a negative 70x, and this is going to become a plus 1,000. We need to factor this trinomial. We need to find something, we need to find numbers that when this is added together, it's going to be the same numbers multiplied to get this. And 20 plus 50 works, because that makes the 70, and 20 times 50 is 1,000, so that's going to work. And because we have a minus here, we get x minus 20 times x minus 50, and we set it as equal 0, okay? In that principle of zero products, we do x minus 20 equals 0 or x minus 50 equals 0. 
we add the 20 to each side because we want to isolate this x. We create a zero pair here. So we get x equals 20, or we do the same thing to this side, and we get x equals 50. So now we can plug this into one of these values here to see if it works. So if we do 60 minus 2x, and we use 20 for x, we get 60 minus 2 times 20. That's 60 minus 40. So that means it would be 20 meters. Well, that could work when we do it with 60 minus 2x if x is 50 we get 60 minus 100, and that's a negative 40. And you can't have negative 40 as a measurement. We can't have a negative measurement. So that's not an answer. That is. The strip of lawn must be 20 meters. And that's a reasonable answer. So that's 20 meters. That's 20 meters. See? That's our answer. All right? OK, our next video. 8.2b, we're going to do this again. We're going to do a word problem, and we're going to solve it with a quadratic equation. It's going to be a Pythagorean theorem one. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist, and the links from Algebra 1 from last year where we talked about quadratic equations and solving them, setting that first coefficient to a 1, all of that. These three links are going to be in there, along with the two previous videos we just did for Chapter 8. Okay. So now you know how to solve this type of a word problem when you need to find these values. That's x, that's x, so this is going to be the length minus 2x. That's going to be the length minus 2x, and then you solve it, okay? Keep trying. I'm proud of you. I'll see you next video. Bye.